Hello everyone. Welcome to the captivating, how, when, and why, series of facts, where we embark on a journey to unravel the intriguing science behind the marvels of nature. Today, we are delving deep into the enchanting realm of tides to understand how these natural wonders are formed. Is the moon the secret behind it? Let's dive right in and explore the fascinating secrets behind the creation of tides. What are tides? Tides occur in beaches and coastal areas due to the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun on the Earth's ocean water. High tides mean when the ocean's water level is closer to the land, covering more land than usual. Low tides mean when the ocean's water level is lower, revealing more land. But the primary factor influencing tides is the moon's gravitational pull. As the moon orbits the Earth, it exerts a gravitational force on the ocean water. This gravitational pull causes the water on the side of the Earth facing the moon to be pulled toward it, creating a high tide. Similarly, on the opposite side of the Earth, there is also a high tide due to the centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is a perceived force that appears to act outward on an object moving in a circular path. As the Earth rotates, the centrifugal force caused by this rotation pushes the water outward, creating another bulge of water on the opposite side. This centrifugal force is a result of the Earth's rotation and the tendency of objects to move in a straight line. Since there are high tides on the two sides, there would be low tides in the other two sides while the Moon's gravitational force is about 2.2 times stronger than that of the Sun, the Sun's gravitational pull still plays a role in shaping tidal patterns. When the gravitational forces of the Sun and the Moon align, during full Moon and New Moon phases, where the Earth, Sun and Moon are almost in a straight line, their combined effect leads to higher high tides, known as spring tides. Spring tides have nothing to do with the season. The term, spring, refers to the tide springing up or rising higher than usual. Conversely, when the gravitational forces of the sun and the moon are perpendicular to each other, during first quarter and last quarter moon phases, their combined effect leads to lower high tides, known as neap tides. Tides are more noticeable in coastal areas and beaches because the rising and falling water levels can significantly impact the shoreline. The regular cycle of tides, with two high tides and two low tides occurring roughly every 24 hours and 50 minutes, creates the rhythmic movement of the water, shaping the coastal landscape and influencing marine life. So the tides are caused due to gravitational pull of the celestial bodies. Subscribe now to uncover more mesmerizing facts and scientific wonders in our how, when, and why series of facts.